Welcome back. So this is the dashboard. Uh, once you sign up, uh, you will log in and this is the first page you will see. There are different options. One is guided journey. If you're new, new to the system, you can start with this section here. Create instances. Basically, this is where you can start accessing the service. So if I were to click here, I can see the different services I can create from here. Also, if you need to check more of the services, you can click all and basically it will take you to all the services you should be able to access from here. This one is account management. So basically, this account management is strictly for the cloud infrastructure. It's not the user management within the tenancy. So they are two different things. This is just your administrator who will give you access to this tenancy here. So in this case, it'll be your sign up email would be the user and the password. Then you can customize your dashboard the way you want it, what service you want where. But most importantly, what I wanted to show you guys is the tenancy. Tenancy is the basic root compartment, which is provision as soon as you sign up. And for me, it's the US Ashburn is my region. So that's my home region. Other regions are Euro Frankfurt, US Ashburn, home region, London, which I have not subscribed to yet, US Phoenix, but I can. When you click on the link here, you will see the service limits of all the services. So you have a backup quota of 500 for block volume. Custom images, you can have 25. And, you know, you can go through the list and see what the service limits are. Definitely, these are the limits which Oracle Corporation puts on when you first sign up. Uh, they just want to make sure that, you know, you don't use up the services if you don't need it and you can always get an increase on the service limits when you're ready we're going to talk about iam service overview identity and access management so what does identity and access management mean it's basically what type of access a group of users have to which specific resources they control that a resource is a cloud object that you create and use in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service. It could be your compute instance, block storage volumes, virtual cloud networks, VCNs, subnets, route tables, etc. IAM concepts. They are tenancy, compartments, users, groups, policies. Tenancy is the root compartment. So everything which is created for your company will be within this main tenancy. So you can have compartments where you can isolate different teams, uh, different group of businesses, and they will all fall within the tenancy. Again, this tenancy compartments, users, groups, policies, they spread across regions. So they are not specific to a certain region. So that you have to keep in mind for the exam. Okay, we're gonna start with tenancy. Basically, your root compartment. Tenancy is a root compartment for all your organization resources. As, as we said, talked about before, Oracle automatically creates tenancy. Directly within the tenancy, IOO, IAM entities. 
IAM entities are your users groups policies we'll talk more in detail later on provision with the single top level compartment called the root compartment which is the tenancy now within this tenancy you can create other compartments which we'll do in the next slide users individual employee and systems that need to manage resources so it could be your system ID or a, a person users can be created and given a console password to use the web console or and a, or API signing keys to use the rest API and SDKs so if you don't know about APIs and SDKs, don't worry at this stage. We'll go more in detail in later chapters. User must be placed in groups to be given access to the cloud resources. So they have to be part of the group. They cannot be without a group. A new user has no permission until you place the user in one or more groups. And there is at least one policy that gives that group permission to either the tenancy or a compartment. So there has to be a policy written for the group so those users which are part of that group can access those resources and the compartment. Users can be part of multiple groups. Next we'll look at groups. A collection of users need same type of access to a particular set of resources or components. Like your sales group, they would need access to, you know, the CRM software. So they would be part of uh, CRM users. Group basically is used to grant privileges to cloud resources. So they they basically provide the privileges to the resources in the cloud. A group has no permission, as we talked before, until you write one policy that gives the group access. Next, we'll go to compartments. Compartments are basically a logical way of isolating your business line of business or projects for the purpose of uh, measuring usage, billing, performance. Again, compartments have a hierarchy. So you can have compartments within a, a existing compartment. But currently, I believe Oracle doesn't support that. But they that is their plan to take it to more granular level. Compartments are global and logical, distinct from physical containers. We've not talked about containers, but we'll, we'll know more about that in later chapters. They can be part of a certain region only or the availab availability domain in that region. But for compartments, they are global. They could span across multiple regions could be North America to Europe. And that is the case with mo most of the IAM entities. A resource, we talked about resource, giving access to a resource. So what is a resource? A resource is a cloud object that you create and use in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Services, example like compute instance, block storage, volumes, Virtual cloud networks, VCNs, subnets, route tables, etc. Like you see in compartment A, we have bare metal and object storage. In compartment B, we have a VM server and a block storage. So these are the resources, but they are in two different compartments. Now policies. So the policies is is the main string 
that holds all this together. So if you look at the policies, policy A, allow group sales to manage all resources in compartment A. So this way you are isolating different teams, uh, different lines of businesses in this manner. Policy B, allow group IT admin to manage all resources in compartment B. So they will be able to access the VM machine, the block storage and any other resources which are part of compartment B. Now let's look at the definition of policy. A document that specifies who can access which resource and how. We saw that in the, in the text just above. Access is granted at group and compartment level or tenancy level. So if you have access at the tenancy level, you will have access to all the resources within that tenancy. So you have to be very careful where are you giving access to certain group of users. Support security principle of least privilege. So by default, users are not allowed to perform any actions. Policies are comprised of one or more statements which specify what groups can access what resources and what level of access users in that group have. Policies are written in human readable format like we discussed, allow group sales to manage all resources in compartment A.